Hey guys, Dr. Austin uh, coming to you from Versailles State Park, Indiana. It's a beautiful spring day. And uh, today's session is uh, relating to a, an interesting plant um, known as <clears throat> wild ginger. So wild ginger can be identified by its uh, pairs of heart-shaped leaves uh, appearing in the springtime. And uh, it's actually unrelated to the ginger that we, um, <clears throat> the ginger root that we use um, for our cooking, uh, <clears throat> but it received the name wild ginger because the uh, roots of this plant uh, have a very similar uh, aroma and flavor to um, ginger. Um, the Latin name uh, Acerum canadense, uh, this, this plant was used as a medicine by Native Americans. Uh, they would um, take the root and um, dry it and um, use it as a uh, tea. Typically the roots are harvested in um, the uh, fall. <clears throat> um, and it was used primarily as a carminative, uh, meaning it soothes the uh, stomach. Uh, it was um, uh, used to, to treat colic. Uh, the, um, the, the roots do contain a, a bit of a toxin um, that uh, in high doses uh, can be toxic to the liver, but typically at the, when used in a tea in moderate doses, um, uh, little toxicity is seen. Uh, caution is advised them. Um, the settlers would use this plant in the place of ginger. Uh, they would take the roots and um, uh, dry them and boil them in um, a sugar syrup to make a uh, candy ginger um, that had a very similar flavor to regular ginger. And they would take the leftover syrup and use it um, uh, for like pancake syrup or whatever they would use it for, but um, it had a, a wonderful ginger-like flavor that was almost indistinguishable, indistinguishable from um, regular ginger. So, wild ginger.